two more signals detected, which could come from the missing plane's black boxes. Now search teams are trying to refine the location, find more signals, tighten the search area. And uh, hopefully, in a matter of days, we will be able to uh, find something on the bottom uh, that might confirm that this is the last resting place of MH370. But the challenge is still enormous. After the 2009 Air France crash in the Atlantic, that search area was also narrowed down. But a veteran of that operation says it was still a difficult find. So over a two-year period, it was probably 20 or so weeks in order to find that, and they had much better information. They had much better last known position, and they found debris on the surface. In the Air France search, as in this one, a towed pinger locator was used. They found that plane using a similar vehicle to the Bluefin 21 underwater drone that mapped the debris field. Remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, were then used to recover the Air France wreckage. Has any of the technology changed since then? It's pretty much the same stuff. There's a few upgrades, a few electronic upgrades here and there, but it's pretty much the same equipment. The sheer depth of the area now being searched is a huge challenge. The Titanic was about 12,000 feet down, and it took searchers about seven decades to find it. The signals detected in this search area are more than 14,700 feet down, just shy of three miles. That's the maximum depth of the ocean floor in that area, and the maximum depth for the Bluefin 21. ROVs can easily make it that deep. But the ocean at that depth is completely dark. The bluefin and ROVs will have limited visibility, even with lights. And there's a potential problem with the ocean floor in that area. The big chunks of the plane that haven't broken up are going to crash into the silt and, and dig in. And this silt is quite mobile because there are microbes that are eating into it, so it's quite porous. So it's quite possible that the jet, with its own pressure and the water pressure, has dug into the mud at the bottom. Experts say ROVs will not be able to pick up wreckage if it's deeply buried in that silt, in that mud. But they say cranes and winches run from vessels on the surface would be able to pull that wreckage out. Wolf?